Hey, it's Anna. So I've been thinking a bit about trust and like trusting in your path, but also in your ability to actually create what you want and like get to the reality that you want. And I had this revelation today that like, you know, when you imagine things like, I don't know if you do this often, but I literally do it all the time where I will go into my mind especially in dream state and I'll imagine the life that I want like I'll imagine what my house will look like what my partner will be like what my career will look like but not only look but what it will feel like like what it will feel like to live that life and to be that person and I realized today that literally that version of you that you can see is your future self like when we talk about making decisions and not knowing which decision to choose or even fearing the future and fearing what it will look like what it will look like and not knowing how we will handle situations if they were to appear you know like anxiety can take over and you start worrying about things that haven't happened and like it makes you feel like what if it was to go this way like will I handle it well how will I handle it will I be successful will I meet the right person all of these questions and all of these doubts it can make you worry and like feel anxious about things that haven't even happened yet and I just realized that when you go into your imagination and you really put yourself into that experience of something that you want that literally is your future self like that literally is a future possibility of who you could be and like the life and experience that you could have. Because if our minds create our reality and we know that the world that we're living in right now has been created by a projection in our minds, is a hologram based upon so many factors of the soul contracts and agreements that we had before we even came here and then like our belief systems that we formed while we were here our, our upbringing our parents and then the structure of this false matrix that has been created like all of these different things play a role into what we experience in our lives each day but like your imagination is your magic it is your power it is where your manifestation lies because you can go to sleep or you can sit there in meditation you can even when you're cleaning your house like when you're dancing when you're doing anything you can go into your mind and like you can create whatever you want there's no limitation because that's where your mind gets to roam free like your higher self your subconscious your heart whatever you want to call it all gets to just be free it's not restricted by this physical reality in this physical vessel it can literally create any possibility that you want you know like it's limitless it's and it's infinite you can create anything so you can go into that imagination and you can create all of these things and you can feel it as if it's happening right now you know like when you have nightmares it feels so so real it feels like it's happening right now like it literally feels like it's this reality and then you wake up and you have to like regather yourself because you're like what the fuck <laughs> that felt so real and you have to adjust your mind and like almost convince it that it wasn't real and bring yourself back into this physical world you know so like we know that it feels real because it triggers your emotions and your five senses as if it's happening right now so you can just go into your imagination which is your most powerful tool that you have the most magical space that you could possibly go to with infinite potential and you can go and you can meet your higher self you can meet your future self you can go and create that and then it's just a case of like trusting and believing that that's possible and that that is the future you that you choose you know like it's a choice because there's infinite infinite possibilities and all of these possibilities exist at the same time so it's like which one do you choose which one do you want you know you can spend forever and ever worrying about choosing the wrong decision the wrong partner the wrong this the wrong that but like which one do you want you know and when you focus on the one that you 
want, the one that you do want, instead of worrying about all of the ones that you don't, you're going to like, if you're literally a magnet, you're going to draw it to you because what you focus on grows and what you put energy into is what comes to you. It's what you manifest. It's what you create. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just realizing we need to put our energy into all of these ideas that we do want and all of these things that we really like they just make us feel good inside and make us want to bring that into our world you know so it's not something that you just think about when you sleep or think about when you meditate it's something that you literally experience on a day-to-day -day basis you know so yeah this just kind of got brought up because I had a not an opportunity but just something came into my experience and I had to like trust it to unfold like I had to just let it unfold before I could make a decision you know oftentimes we want to jump in and be able to make a decision before the things even fully revealed itself you can't decide if you don't really know what the intention is of that thing you know you have to let it fully reveal itself like if it's a person or if it's an opportunity you need to know the intention behind that thing you need to know what it's about what it is what it's for you know is the person coming from their heart are they on the same path as you there's so many things that need to be revealed before you can make a decision but we always just want to well i especially always just want to jump in and be like yes this is it or no this is shit and then we let go of something that we should have kept or we keep something that we should have let go of you know so yeah it's just kind of about trusting yourself and then being able to go into your imagination and choose what you want and then be like does what's just appeared in my reality does that feel the same way that the thing that I imagine feels like, you know? Do they correlate? Do they work together? Are they are they something that has the same level of potential where it could get to the beauty of what my imagination is created, you know? So, yeah, I think it's just about trust and about knowing yourself and knowing what you want and then not not settling for anything that doesn't meet that. And also believing and knowing that it's not a high expectation, you know, like the thing that you want, that's not too far-fetched or too ridiculous or too high standard or too crazy. Like that's a, a good thing. That's a normal thing that that should be normalized to have that level of like divine creation where it literally to some people, it seems way too out there and way too ridiculous and could never be realistic, you know? Like, it's not unrealistic. Whatever you can imagine is a possibility and can happen. So you need to just trust yourself, believe in yourself, and believe in what you feel and what you know is right for you. And then when things come up, let them reveal themselves first before you make a decision. And then you can feel your way through it, you know? Because in your imagination, you're feeling that experience. You're not just thinking about it. You're literally in it it feels real so you're feeling your way through the experience of the thing that you want in your imagination and then when it comes in your reality you can be like what does this feel like what does it make my body feel like does it make me feel anxious and uncomfortable does it make me feel scared you know does it make me doubt myself does it make me feel unworthy or does it make me feel empowered does it make me feel good inside you know does it make my heart flutter and like does it bring joy in my body you know so yeah just pay attention to how you feel and that's what I'm really learning how to do and of course this is not easy like this this is not an easy thing but is something that is a priority like it's something that deserves to be a priority because then you can discern what's right for you and what's not like it's literally how you create your world so surely that should be the number one priority you know so yeah anyway <laughs> i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening and all my links to everything social media my whatsapp number so you can contact me um we have a community on instagram like a private community for people that are healing and going through this path so we can support each other so check out the link in the description because all my links to my music as well and social media will be in there
but yeah thank you so much for watching and listening on the podcast apps if you're listening there and i will see you in the next episode love always pull it down oh yeah oh yeah pull on